It is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. Welcome into Dirt Tracker Daily. I'm Justin Fiedler. Today on the show, we've got results from last night's Short Trek Super Series race at Delaware International. We dive into a bunch of wild and random dirt racing stats. There are new podcast episodes and more, so let's jump right in. We had some rare Tuesday night racing last night as the Short Trek Super Series Modifieds took on Delaware International Speedway for 50 laps and $5,500 to win. Anthony Perego sat on the pole, but Matt Shepard rolled the top side to grab the lead at the start. Behind him, Mike Mahaney, Perego, Billy Pouch Jr., and others battled it out. Shepard led most of the race and by a wide margin at times, but a caution with 12 to go for a slowing Ryan Riddle bunched the field back up and gave Stuart Friesen the opportunity he needed. He restarted third, was quickly passed Perego for second, and on the heels of Shepard for the lead. Friesen, who started ninth, finally worked past Shepard down the backstretch with eight laps to go, and he drove away to the win. Shepard finished second, Mike Mahaney third, Perego fourth, and Craig Von Doren was fifth. Friesen is just absolutely on fire right now in the modified. Short Track Super Series South Region now goes quiet until May 25th at New Egypt. The North Region is back in action on May 11th at Accord Speedway. As you'll know, if you are a regular listener or watcher of this show, I spend a lot of time digging through the numbers in the analytics section of DirtTracker.com. I feel like it helps me better understand what's happening on track when I have a grasp on the stats for each driver and series. Every race season is certainly unique with different storylines and different paths for how things play out. There hasn't been a lack of topics in 2021 for sure, and along the way, I've run into some wild and weird stats. Today, I'm going to throw a bunch of them at you to ponder as you work, drive around, or hang out on this Wednesday. First up are a couple for World of Outlaws points leader Brad Sweet. Through 15 Outlaw Nights so far this season, Brad Sweet only has one heat race win. In the previous two seasons, Sweet has won a little more than 30, uh, 31% of the heats he's appeared in, so we would have expected him to have won four or five heats at this point. He has finished second six times, so that's equated to seven dash appearances, but even that is off his 2021 pace. What's interesting is that it hasn't mattered, as he's outpacing both 2020 and 2019 in terms of wins, with five already this season. Also uh, for Brad Sweet, since finishing 24th at Knoxville back on August 13th of 2020, Sweet hasn't finished worse than 11th in 39 straight races. He has 28 top five finishes in that stretch as well. This opening 11 race stretch for the Ward of Outlaws late models has felt very weird with Brandon Shepard not running how we expect him to and the full-time Outlaws in general just having a difficult go of it. I mentioned before that Kyle Strickler and Chris Madden are the only two full-timers with a win this season. When you look at the stats, they show how weird things have been. Bobby Pierce currently leads all drivers with the most laps led at 86, and he's done it in only six appearances with the Outlaws. 72 of those laps for Pierce came in his Illini 100 win at Farmer City on April 3rd. What's even crazier is that along with no wins so far, Brandon Shepard hasn't actually officially led a single lap with the Outlaws. He has that feature win at Cherokee, but that was an unofficial split field win, and he only led the two final laps of that event. Shepard led 452 laps in 40 races in 2020, and an incredible 713 laps in 41 races in 2019. Through 10 All-Star Circuit of Champions races so far this season, Donnie Schatz is the only driver with multiple wins, and he's not a full-timer with the series. We also haven't had a repeat hard charger yet with Kyle Reinhardt, Brent Marks, Anthony Macri, Lucas Wolf, Aaron Reitzel, Donnie Schatz, Kerry Madsen, Logan Schuhart, Gio Selzy, and DJ Foos all having one apiece. Across the main national series in 2021, it hasn't paid to start on the pole. Between Lucas, the two Outlaw Series, the All-Stars, and the USAC Sprint Cars and Midgets, there have been 61 races this season, and only seven winners have come from the pole. Lucas, the Outlaw Late Models, and USAC Midgets have won each, and the USAC Sprint Cars haven't had a winner from the pole yet. In 2020, Jimmy Owens went one stretch where he had 15 top five finishes in 16 Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series races, which included six wins. Since Brownstown in September of 2020, through a stretch of, you guessed it, 16 races, Owens has just two top fives, one at Alltech in the 2021 opener and one at Bubba Raceway Park on February 2nd. 
Timmy Buckwalter has gone quick time overall or quick time in his group three times this season, which is just one less time than the entire top five in the USAC sprint car points combined. And finally today, defending NASCAR Cup Series champion Chase Elliott has more USAC midget heat race wins in 2021 than current series points leader Buddy Kofoid. If you'd like to see and find more weird and wild numbers, visit dirttracker.com slash analytics. If you're in the market for more dirt racing podcasts this week, there are a bunch to check out. Open Red has Matt Yoakum. Loud Pedal has Hunter Schoenberg. There's another new episode of Dirt on Dirt's Dirt Reporters. The Dirt Nerds are talking Bristol. Forward Bite has Lenny Batiki and Ben Watkins. The Dirt from Knoxville has the weekly winner from this last week, Austin McCarl. Passing Points has Jarrett Martin. Midwest Autosports has Blake Nemi. Track Talk has Jack Lehner, Addison Bowman, and Mandy Pouch. And there are new episodes of Quick Time and Wednesdays with Wayne. To see the full list of podcast shows and episodes, visit dirttracker.com slash podcasts. Speaking of podcasts, I dropped a new Conversations episode yesterday. This one features USAC National Sprint Car rookie Paul Neenheiser. Paul has been a winged sprint car guy since he was 15 years old, but this year got an opportunity with KO Motorsports to go racing with USAC and jumped on it. We talked about his transition, leaning on teammate Chase Stockin, the World of Outlaws upcoming trip to Jacksonville where he is very familiar and a lot more. I even asked him about dirt racing championships. You can find that episode in the podcast feed or youtube.com slash dirt tracker. Speaking of yesterday's show about championships, thanks to everyone that chimed in yesterday, uh, letting me know whether you think those dirt racing championships matter to you or not. If you haven't watched or listened to yesterday's show, jump over, check it out, and let me know your thoughts. It's an interesting topic to think about for sure, and one we're going to continue exploring. The only thing on the streaming schedule for today is Flow Racing 24-7. To see the full daily streaming schedule with links to watch, visit dirttracker.com slash watch tonight. That's it for the show today. Hope everybody has a good Wednesday. If you have thoughts about the topics on today's show, leave them in the comments below or tweet at me. You can also email your comments to me as well. You can find Dirt Tracker Daily where you get podcasts plus YouTube and Facebook. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and leave a review. That helps out the show. It's a free and easy way to help out the show if you'd like to do that. You can email the show at info at dirttracker.com. I do check those every single day. You can follow Dirt Tracker on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Dirt Tracker. That's D I R T R A C K R. And you can check out the website for all kinds of cool dirt racing stuff by visiting dirttracker.com. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for more Dirt Tracker Daily.